And I added all the cheats where I have all the stuff and all this fun shit. And my goal is to test a theory out. That you can skip 90% of this game by choosing, like, Cardboard Box C, which has Snowfield written on it. And if that's the case, I can skip all the way to pretty much the end of the first disc. Um, and it's kind of a theory I wanted to test out, and I was... Long story short, I watched a video on retro games, and it got me thinking, why not just try to do it? So I was going to do it regardless, but um, I figured might as well just play the game. Oh, Jesus. All right, and here we go. All right, let's go... Let's take this so I can blow through here. Haha, uh -huh, you can't see me. And I literally just want to test the theory of up here. Can we get to the snowfield? Whoa. Can we get to the snowfield? And just skip half this game. Mr. Box. Looks like we can. Is this all there is to load? The snowfield north of the towers, huh? This is part of breaking the game. And I'm pretty sure I just skipped the entire first disc. I mean, the game's going to... One of two things going to happen. The game's either going to lock up or it's going to let me do this. Now, if you're speedrunning this with cheats, this is what I highly advise you do. Yep. I did. Now we have bypassed the entire... I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we even bypassed the sniper. We'll fight. We did, because here she is. So we have skipped. Yep, we have skipped the entire sniper wolf fight. And I could subsequently now go on to the second disc. That is called a speedrun, my friends. That is the theory I wanted to test. Now, I can go to... Technically, I can go back into the story, because the story technically hasn't happened yet. But since I got here... I'm pretty sure I already have Otacon. See if anything is a thing in memory. No. Let's see if we can go back to the... Not the entrance, but the... Um, uh, what was it? Because I know we can travel back, too. Whoop. Let's get up here. This is the Warhead Storage Building. So let's go there. You just got to wait here for a few seconds, and then someone will eventually come by going, huh? I think, anyways. I don't remember. Yep. All right. Is this all there is to load? The nuclear warhead storage, huh? I mean, it's more or less all I wanted to test, and I was just doing this anyways. <laughs> so I have skipped almost the entire... I skipped the entire first disc. Like, the Sniper Wolf fight is where the first disc ends. And I have skipped all of that, the torture chamber, you name it. Don't want to be spotted. Now, I am curious if I can still... If it still says, like, the Otacon thing is around or something like that. So let's go and test that out. Because remember, I okay, I skipped the majority of this game already. And I wonder if basically because I skipped that already, if I can or if it will load the other scenes, because they technically haven't been played. So if you're speed running this game using hacks, that is one way to do it. Pretty sh I shouldn't see him here if this Oh, so, okay, so I can. All right. I wonder... All right, so the game... Because I, the game doesn't... Uh, nothing is triggered in this game yet. So let's go back and let's see if I can get to disc two and... You know, because obviously the Sniper Wolf fight, I skipped all that. Hello, Parabellum uh, Mushroom. How are you? 
I am just having fun today by breaking this game. Actually, I, I, I normally don't stream at this time, but I um, decided to stream mainly because I saw something cool and I wanted to put a theory to the test of mine. Can I hack this game and skip almost 90% of it? And I essentially have. Uh, <laughs> Alright, but the game... But I haven't triggered any events in the game yet. Like, I literally just started it up. But... Let's go back to the Warhead Storage Facility. Or, we're in the Warhead Storage Facility. I'm going to go back to the Snowfield, where I've already... Where, technically, I've already skipped the Sniper Wolf fight. And I want to see now if I can go to Disc 2. Which would be freaking hilarious. Um, if I can go to Disc 2. Because I should... All you have to do is, like, wait in the truck for a little bit. And then someone will be like, oh, well, what's this box? And then they go and transport you away think maybe I really did maybe I maybe I broke it to the point where it doesn't work now because I already was at the beginning of the game I didn't save any of this and I don't plan on saving any of this maybe I have to be in front I don't remember yeah um I through this, I figured I'd, I might as well game shark the shit out of it. I put everything in here. Obviously, you can't have... Oh, wait. I can't even use weapons in here. Crap. Yeah, I wonder if I can go back to the original. Because I skipped everything up until... Yeah. I got it... Uh, what did I get to? Um, I don't know. I just literally... Man, these... Guys do not wanna. These guys do not wanna freaking take me away. Is they're supposed to go, huh? The whatever building, but I think I triggered the one event by coming by going out. But uh, you know what would be funny? I want to test something because I've already broken this game this far and I've already gotten to the sniper wolf end part. Let me see if I can get out of here. And um, oh yeah, I played the hell out of this game when I was a kid, man. I want to see if I can get out of here. Crouch down. And if I can go to... Now, see, this is the other funny thing. I could go out here and potentially start the uh, Vulcan Raven fight. Which is totally the game working ass backwards. And I'm not a thousand percent sure... If it'll, if it'll like, just start the fight... Oh, that's right. Uh, first, since there's nothing out here, just use... Uh, da, 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 where is I? Because I can go back to the beginning. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, okay. Now, if I come through here again... See? I went backwards. I completely broke it. Because now I've started the fight for a game that I didn't even... <laughs> oh god! Oh, that's right. I should probably use the stealth so he can't. I, oh wait, I don't know if the stealth works. Oh Jesus! I could. I mean, I. This game is so broken. I could potentially actually die. Still, it's not out of the realm. What the hell? I can't, it's like, I can't, like, I can't seem to get through this part. I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, let's go back this way. Obviously, stealth doesn't work. It's like I've completely broken this game. I have. Jesus. Oh, finally. Come back here. We're trying to shoot at me. So I can complete this part and completely break the game again. There's one. God, I'm still good at this. I already got the second guy. Oh, he's invincible for a moment. 
shit. Got him. All right, he dead. Oh, what? I missed him? <laughs> All right, skip, skip, skip. As you see, I did the scenes backwards. That wasn't supposed to happen when I came out of that door. But uh, we'll go back out through here, because I want to see if I can get to the Sniper Wolf area again. Um... <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said I was breaking this game. There's a possibility I go in here and it acts like this fight didn't happen. Um, it's very, very possible. Ooh, forgot about the Claymores. Don't feel like getting hit by them. It, and he might say something about the lasers. Like, it's very weird. Like, I've broken this game out of order. Woohoo, crap. Oh, maybe the lasers have already been deactivated. I don't know. Uh, but let's go back to the... I have to crawl back through all these, like, ducks and stuff. Let's go back to the very, very beginning. Have some candy. <laughs> God, I love breaking this game. Um, let's see. And there's a possibility that he'll still do the whole thing because it skipped the thing where it's like someone was blah 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 about him listening to the guards speaking. There is a possibility that can still happen and it's just because I'm playing this out of order. Man, these controls are weird. don't like using the analog sticks on them. But essentially what I did is I put in Game Shark cheats. I know this game, uh, this game, it's probably one of the best games. I, I'm not going to lie, I named my son after this. Alright, let's see if it happens. Nope. Alright, so I've already, so it's already written off that part, because I've already done the Vulcan Raven fight. But I want to see if I can get back to the Sniper Wolf thing, because I could skip the entire first disc. It, this is just me having fun at this point. And I'm going to have to switch discs, and the screen's going to go blank for a minute. And uh, Here we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Now. Up you... Sneaky snake, up you go. Man, I hate these freaking 3D controls. <laughs> yes, please come this way. Ah, uh, the 90s, where 3D controls were so prevalent. Alright. Let's see, go down here, go down here. Happened the last time, which is a possibility can happen again, so... Well, I can't do it while he's staring right there. Alright, let's see. Cardboard box C, because I did this the, the first time. I just came in, I just started, did this the first time, and did whatever. Here we go. Going. I'm going to skip all the way to the end of this first disc. Is this all there is to load? Now you saw, I now my thing was, you already saw that Otacon was still there. So I never even did that part. So I've literally skipped all of this. I did the Vulcan Raven fight. Everything's going ass backwards. This is what it should have happened in the store in the nuclear warhead storage facility, but I started a scene, so the game thinks it's like playing in order, but it's not. So since there's nothing out here, Sniper Wolf, um, I'm, this is where her body. Oh, yeah, that's the dogs running around. This is where her body should be, but it's like gone. Oh, there's a doggy. Alright, where is level 7? Everything is full. Everything is full. <laughs> Snake Eater is probably my favorite. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, I never really played the third one. 
<clears throat> I have it, but I never really played it. I bought it used. Had, trust me. Had I had the damn thing brand new, I probably still wouldn't have opened it, but... Whatever. Man, it's not what I wanted to do. I personally... The fourth one was okay, because it was a throw... Man, that's not what I want. The fourth one was okay, because it was kind of a throwback. But uh, let's completely break this game, and let's just skip the entire first disc. Alright. Bear with me a second. I'm going to have to change discs in the emulator. So... Oh, good. It leaves on that. Uh, here we go. Change disc. Go back here. And... There we go. Press start button after inserting disc 2. Press start button. <laughs> And there we go. I just skipped the entire first disc of the game by just using the boxes. Didn't even have to use anything else. Now what's fun is I can go back. Now all that stuff, I skipped the torture chamber, everything. Which I think is freaking hilarious that I just bypassed like, the entire first disc. Uh, Sniper Wolf's dead carcass was there. That dog is still running around. What happens if I get spotted by it? Wait a minute. Dog's like. Game's like frozen up. It's. Uh, hey, Poochie. I don't know if I have the handkerchief. I don't think I added that in here. Yeah, I don't. Oh wait, no, I didn't have her handkerchief because I you lose that because once you give it away, uh, he'll be cool by smoking. Uh, let's see, Nikita. Let's fire this bitch. Now, the, now, believe it or not, you could actually beat the sniper wolf fight by using the Nikita. Why oh, should I go back into here? Because it's the second disc, everything isn't going to load now. I literally broke it. But I can go back to anywhere I want now. Um, and Otacon should not be in there. I mean, you know, because I skipped here. Because, I mean, there is a way where you can use the uh, card keys and skip to... Let's go here. We can skip to the... Uh, oh, I forgot which part you can skip to. You can skip right to the torture chamber. like, And there's an actual known speedrunning glitch within the game that you can do that with. Is this all there is to load? Nuclear warhead storage, huh? Nuclear warhead storage, huh? Is this all there is to load? I didn't even know you could warp this way, to be honest with you, until... I don't know, probably a couple of years after I had the game. Okay, and we will stealth up. Huh? What was that noise? What? <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, let's see. Oop. Come on. I was like, what? I'm like, the elevator not show up? Now I should go back. Now I could probably go back down there, and a couple things should be. The, the grate should be destroyed, and Otacon obviously should not be here. If it is, again, I really did break the game. He's still in there. Okay. He is still in there. So, And this is, on, I'm technically on the second disc, so that shouldn't be in there. Um... That is still very much active. Okay, this next part could very well break this game. Because technically this part shouldn't be on the second disc. Let's see if it is. Demo? No data on CD. <laughs> Alright, 
That is awesome. Because I broke the game to the point where the data is not on the disk. I, I think I'd have to switch demo, no data on disk. That is awesome. I Alright, so... Oh! Can I still, like, move around? I can't skip... I can't bring up any other menu, but I can... Dude, that is awesome. There's no way to move around. It thinks it's the demo of the game. You know what? That is awesome, because I completely just broke this. Alright, let me see if I can switch to the first disc and see if it'll actually load. Because there's a good possibility it's looking it's looking for data that's not there. <laughs> or did I completely just break this, which I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> wow. I did just completely break it. That is awesome. Well, I did as intended. Let's reset this. Let's reset and do this again. Okay, uh, reset. But now, let's see, uh, let's do this. Just so we can have some fun with the guards. Um, <laughs> it'd be really cruel if we just put my... <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck it. Let's just... <laughs> oh, I know. That's so freaking cruel. I know. I really... Uh, see, I'm the type of person I'd rather go through the game and not wipe anyone out, but that is pretty freaking funny. Um. And... Kablamo! Oh, I know. We could throw grenades in the water. <laughs> All right. The hell? Get out of the water, sneaky snake! I just wanted you to throw. Gr I just wanted you to throw grenades in there. I didn't want you to jump in. Let's see the big explosion. Wait, what? I just broke the game? Oh, I just locked it up. You're not supposed to You're not supposed to have grenades and throw them in the water there. <laughs> oh, I locked all right, so found another way to break the game. Let's reset. So I shouldn't do that. Um, I don't feel like resetting it again, but let's see. Go back to here. What fun things do I have? Okay, I've got the SOCOM. Ooh, this should be fun. Let's do this. <laughs> Poor guys, he got a cold. Oh, wow. Oh, this has got unlimited, uh, oh, I see, oh, no, it's got, it doesn't have unlimited fuel. I thought it had, had unlimited fuel for a second. Oh, let's see what happens if I go, whoa. Oh, let's see if I, <laughs> let's see what happens if I go this way. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens if I go... Oh, it just explodes. It doesn't let me go that far. There's like an invisible barrier here. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. I haven't messed around with this in this area in a long time. Get a box. Let's see the stinger. Hey, I wonder if I can shoot the rats. Remember there's rats? 
Let's take the uh, sniper rifle out for a spin. Okay. Ugh. Because I remember coming down here, you could see mice or rats or something. Oh, there they are. And... What was that noise? Shit. I missed the mice. Oh, there goes a rat. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm just fucking around with this game. This is not a serious stream of this game by any... Oh, damn it. Just missed them. Oh. Whatever. Let's see if I can get to the top side again. Let's see what fun things I can do, because I know I can totally break the game. Aw, oh, but I'm, I'm basically skipping all this crap. The title says it all. Let's just break this game. I've already locked it up twice. Um... Alright, so what fun things can we do topside? Oh, that's right. He can only lay down and shoot the PSG one. Uh, let's get up. Let's see. What fun things can I do? Oh, I have a stinger. Oh, blue stinger. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Go up here. Let's take out that. <laughs> this is awesome. I just love messing with the beginning part of this game. Don't need any of that. I'll take surveillance, surveillance camera? camera? Not for long. Goodbye, surveillance camera. Huh? What was that noise? And never, nevertheless, that guy is awake. Okay, there's no more surveillance cameras to uh, get me. Hello, let me in. I know I can get in there. I'm pretty sure I might be able to... Whoa. Guy coming. Okay, so it's up there. Oh yeah, that's right. I could probably have some fun up here. Huh? On my way, home slice. Let's see what I can do with an Akita. Let's see, uh, what does the game not want you to see? What are the out-of-bounds secrets? What secrets are there that we can't see? Whoops. Apparently there's a lot of secrets that the game won't let you see. There's like an invisible barrier over here or something. Well, this is pretty freaking cool, though. See. Nope. Invisible barrier prevents me from doing that. <laughs> Woo! Have a grenade! <laughs> and a chaff. <laughs> oh, I just love messing with this game. Akita, no use. game. I don't know, I was going to just stream, I was going to do something else later anyway, so it didn't really matter. Alright. Um, where should I go? Should I... What? What footprints? Should I go to the... Should I go to the end of the first disc right away, or should I have fun in the nuclear warhead storage building? 
because I'm pretty sure if I s spark one thing, I can actually... Hmm, decisions. I don't really want to go to the torture chamber. That's boring. Maybe I'll go to the uh, Warhead Storage Facility. I'll use the Nikita. And I'll... Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's do that. Alright. Then we'll go and save Otacon. Actually, we'll pretend we'll save Otacon for a second. And then what we'll do is we'll... I'll destroy the electric fence and I'll have fun with all the... Is this all there is to load? And all the other the nuclear war place things started, and... Huh? Yeah. But according to the game, since that didn't happen, I could actually go to the second disc and try and come back to that. Because apparently Otacon's... Whatever image they're using for the second disc, apparently Otacon's thing is still in the game... Programmed in the game. So I wonder what would happen if I destroy the electric fence and try to trip the Otacon scene after go going to the third disc. Okay, so let's do... There's a good possibility that that'll also break the game. So let's try that. I'm going to go blow away the electric fence thing really quick, or the electric whatever, then come back, then go to the end of the second, then go to the end of the first disc, try to come back, see if Otacon is still there, then try to trigger the other cutscene where you walk in and you hear the ninja and see what happens. Because last time the game just completely locked up and said, demo, no data. So obviously something is programmed in there for that to happen. Now, also what could happen is I could trigger that. And I wonder if I can trigger the Meryl scene too. Technically, I can get to... I could skip all of that by using the card keys... But let's just try one thing at a time. Okay, so let's just see. He's over here. Do, 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 do. Okay, see, he's there. Now, that sound didn't happen the last time. But let's just go and experiment. Put on the old gas mask. Okay, last time the game didn't load because it said there was no data here. All right, we're just going to blow past this. Like, we've already skipped a good majority of this game. The Balkan Raven fight. Okay, so let's do this, and let's just take out this thing. Whoops. All right. This will be really quick. Shit. Hit the wall. Don't want to hit the wall. The game always slows down, like right here. Like it has frame rate issues. Son of a bitch. Now I'm fine on the O2 meter because I got the gas mask, which you weren't supposed to have already, but I do. Then what I'll probably end up doing is I'll take the stinger and then I'll just blow away all those cameras so that way they're not shooting at me. Boom. Okay, that takes care of that. Alright. So, let's... Right, let's go do this, and let's just have some fun. That's what, this whole th that's what this whole thing is. I'm just having fun. I'm not taking this game seriously at all right now, and I really don't care to at this, at this moment. Alright, let's go... Boom. Perfect. Alright, let's... Now let's go have some fun in here. Uh, let's see, let's level 6. That's okay, because I got a level 6 card. I got a level 100 card. There was really nothing in here, as far as I can tell. Um, that's just extra ammo, and... I really don't know what was the point of these rooms. Okay, that was a level four, so I think you're designed. You're okay to go into this one. 
So we will find out in one quick second, because that's what happened the last time, is I was fine, and I was navigating the snow field, but because things played out of order, the game hasn't triggered any of it yet. So there's a good possibility that I will actually trigger the Vulcan Raven fight right now, which would be freaking hilarious. Now, it won't happen until I get about halfway out into the snow field. Now, you can see there's nothing here. All right, so let's... Oh, those cameras weren't here last time. Okay, so I totally have... Um, damn, man. Okay, so it's definitely past... Son of a bitch, what the fuck? Why is there so many goddamn things here? Alright, so that's been triggered. Shit. Alright, so because the one scene was triggered... It's, th it's still happening! You saw that! The game thinks that I have not completed it. Because I didn't, but... Alright, so you all saw that. That even though there was nothing there and the tank had already, like... I'd already fought the tank... Alright, so I've already broken the... Alright, so I've already proven that I've broken this game. First off, the Otacon thing, I've already destroyed the electric fence. I came out of the nuclear warhead storage facility because I used uh, the Skippy cheat and it still triggered this fight. So, alright, since this fight has been still triggered, I just have to defeat this but it had, like, security cameras and everything else before it, like, what would happen after you defeated it. Man, I can't find this stupid guy. In you go. Crap. In you go. Damn it. No way am I going to die, because I have infinite whatever. Aw, oh, crap. That ain't going to reach him. That might reach him. Shit. <laughs> and the first time I did this was extremely fast. Alright, that time I got him, I think. Alright, well, that should... Oh, damn it. Wow, I love how I... <laughs> And the frame rate is tanking on this part. No pun intended with the tank part, but... Ugh. Alright. See if I just keep piling them. <laughs> Ugh. Once... Damn, man. There we go. Or not. <laughs> oh, this is just insane. What? Nope. Come on, get it. There we go. Finally, get over. Alright, we're going to skip all this. Then we're going to go to the end of the second... Then we're going to go to the end of the first disc. See, I've already... I, I'm not triggering any of that, because I've already triggered in there, but I've already destroyed the electric fence. The last time I did this... Uh, this is what happened the first time I came out of here, but since... Jesus Christ. I fucking forgot how many fucking mines there were around here. Alright. But I have to go all the way back to the beginning, because the game already thinks that I'm partway through and it. What the fuck? Yeah. So the game thinks I'm already, like, partway through. But what it doesn't know, for some reason, there's also a glitch that if you have the third cardboard box, at the beginning of the game, the game will actually take you to the end of where... So I can skip the sniper wolf fight. So that's what I'm going to do, because I did that the last time, and I, then I tried going back, and I completely, like, broke the game. And that's... 
the whole intention of this is just to see let's break the shit out of this game I played it like a million times before so why not play it again and break the fuck out of it all right because I actually technically skipped all this stuff skipped everything here skipped all the Merrill crap um, but you know what that's you know what? that is funny let's go see if the DARPA chief is still there and if he is you'll like this is proving that I've completely broke this game ass backwards because a few things have triggered but even when I triggered that Vulcan Raven fight before there were still things or even when I got to the second disc it still didn't say that I saved um, Otacon so okay I've already proven that I've broken the Vulcan Raven fight let's see no alright so that so it basically bypassed that alright so that part bypassed because there's whatchamacallit and all his uh... there's Johnny and all his glory all right, so I proved that okay so you can actually skip that legitimate part but when I skipped to the end of the second to the beginning of the second disc and then went back to see if I could actually uh, trigger the Otacon thing Otacon was still in there and the electric thing hadn't been destroyed so I'm wondering if because I skip, I'm wondering if I can just try and skip all of that, or if it'll just do act just like that. Whoops! Got to put this back on. I heard something. I heard something. Where'd, he go? Where'd he go? Which he technically might be, and I might be able to break the game again that way. So let us begin. All right, so. This should take me to the snow field. Then it should say insert disc number two. Is this all there is to load? The snow field north of the towers, huh? Yep, snow field north of the towers. That's exactly right. 88 miles per hour! I see you, whoever, un uh, whoever unfollowed. You don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so... There we go. Alright. And then we can just hop back in there again. Because this is the sniper wolf fight that we are going to skip. I'm pretty sure if I walk the other direction, it would load. But because I didn't come out of the whatever doors, there's where her carcass would be laid. But we're going to go to here. Throw on the stealth. It's going to say insert disc number two. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let us change discs. Doink. Now checking. Hmm. Alright, see, now, it, okay, I proved that I've just gone to disc number two. So let's go back up. Alright, so we're going to skip. Oh, yeah, I was like, that's the dog. Doggy, the little wolf, or sniper wolf. All right, so let's go back up into here, and let's go to the nuclear warhead storage building again. And I let's see if we can break the game yet again, because that's what I love doing. I, I I planned on just doing this just to break the game because it was fun. <laughs> it's not everyone's cup of tea. Nuclear warhead storage, huh? Can't skip any of this. But you'll see that we went to the second disc. Now, watch this. And <laughs> this is if the first time it worked, where I completely broke the game, and that again this is the goal. So 
my goal is to see, all right, we're on the second disc, technically. And let's see if Otacon is still in his little captive area. Because according to the game, we never actually did that. So whatever data chunk is in there via the memory, it's still showing that he is still trapped in there. And the fact that his uh, figure, not only do they have, still have that data on a second disc, they have him in the exact position of walking around. So whatever data they had on him, he's still wandering around on the second disc. Um, but I, but it, the data is not there. And last time I tried to do it, especially when I walked in with the grate, it said he, it said, uh, you know, because they didn't do the electric, um, I didn't blow that away. Okay, yes, he's still there. Okay, this should not happen on the second disc. I am on disc number two. So let us, so let me go and see if that other scene will trigger. And before I do that, I guess I will do um, a save state just so I don't have to, you know, let's save state this really quick. Um, let's see, save state, it's not one, all right. Because that way I can just kind of reload back to this and then we can screw around on the second disc. Whoa put on the gas mask. All right. Because what theoretically should happen here is you should see the ninja scene and all that other stuff, but it can't but it can't load if it's not there. And let's find out. Okay. Right here we'll be fine. But as soon as I walk past that plane, you're supposed to hear some noise, and that shouldn't happen. I should be able to walk straight through unless the game locks up right here. Okay, the game locked up. You're supposed to hear the ninja noises. Now, that's all strewn about still. Now, what should happen next is there shouldn't be anything in here. I shouldn't get triggered with any scene. And I am. Demo, data, no data on CD. Because it's looking on a certain part of the disk. So I have yet again broken this game. What the hell? What the... <laughs> Last time the whole game just locked up. What the hell? It's still... This is the second disc. This music and whatnot should not exist. So that proves that when they did the second disc, they left a lot of the data from the first disc on the second one. This is the second disc! Okay, because he should have said, uh, it's a ghost. But they still have that data there. Okay, now if I get over here and the ninja is on there, that just blow, that's going to blow my freaking mind. That not only is the ninja still programmed on the second disc, it's just they literally just... All right, we're, okay, let, let's just find out. Because that we are on disc number two, and I proved that. Going back, so we are on disc number two. This scene should not technically be in the game anymore, but yet it still is here. Now, it should say no data. See, there's no data to load. All right. Now the game's broken. But that whole part where he falls over, that shows you how much data they actually left, they carried over from the first disc to the second disc because that should have locked up a long time ago. Look at this! It actually does skip. <laughs> I am like amazed right now. Because this guy technically is still alive. Unfortunately, he doesn't have much longer to live. Now, what should happen when I go in here is the game will probably completely break. All right, here we go. Should say no data, or there it goes. No data on disk. What the hell? This is the second disk. I am on the second disk and I am fighting the ninja. They left the ninja fight on the second disc. Uh, 
Oh my god, I am so... They left... See? He's supposed to say something. But his voice data is not on the second disc, but the fight is. I find that amazing. That the voice data is not on the second disc. But the fight is. Just like the Vulcan Raven fight, I think was still on the second disc, if I'm not mistaken. This should not exist right now on this disc. But again, that just shows you how much data they left over from the second disc of the first one. So the second disc literally is just the first disc with added data, with just taken out, cut, see they took out all the voice acting. Uh, but everything else is still here. This is what amazes me about this. He should say, her, like all those things are him saying, hurry up and catch me, come find me. But it's not there. None of the data track, none of the voice tracks are there. I don't remember where he went. Maybe he went over here. Yes? Yeah, might as well do it right now. And? Sweet. Sounds good. So this should not, this fight should not exist on the second disc. And if you just missed it, I am, what I mean by breaking this, is I went to the snow, as I cheated the game, or I used the cardboard box, went to the snow field. After I got done with the snow field, I came back. And I actually broke this part of the game where it says there's no data, there's no voice track. He should be talking right here, but he isn't. And so... I skipped all the way to the second disc, and I'm on the second disc, and this fight is still on the second disc. How? I have no idea how this fight is still on the second disc. So that just shows you how much data they left over. He should be saying, hurt me more. Now, when it skips to the second part, you'll see where it says, demo no data. Because, all, because there shouldn't be anything left. Okay. Demo no data. Alright, as far as I could tell, you, I just started mashing buttons and it skipped. Okay, there's no data to load here. But all the text is still here. This is insane. This is on the second disc. All the text is still here from the second disc. So that means they left so much data on the second, like, I'm starting to, I always wondered about that, if the data is still left on the second disc, and it seems like they took out the major cutscenes and the voice tracks, and that's how they added the ending. Let's see if I can skip over this, or if the game completely locked up now. Nope. There's a scene that's just empty. <laughs> Oh, I think it, I think it's completely locked up now. Oh, because because what it is, Otacon's supposed to be there, and he technically is written in the game's memory as such. I might have to reload the save state to go back right before this. What? Yeah. All right, so I completely locked this up. I can't do a single thing. There ain't no thing but a chicken wing. I am mashing all buttons here. All right, so this is all right. So I completely lock this up. Now let's load my save state that I saved right before this. Okay, and all right, let's go back out here because um, this is the second disc, and I can effectively skip. But what's funny is okay, you can see Otacons there. Since I got this card key, let's go back up to this first floor and let's completely fuck the game and let's real let's go to the Psycho Manus fight now. Because I'm playing this game out of order because it's extremely funny and that was my whole goal of this stream was just to have fun with this. Um, actually, what am I saying, stream? I wasn't gonna I was gonna do this regardless. <laughs> uh, and I believe Mero should still be up here. If okay. Everything here is... 
Okay, is that her? I don't think that's her. I mean, it's a... W no. Nope, that's not her. Okay. So, this part of the game is in the future part. Because there are some parts of the game that are in the future, and there are some parts of the game that are in the past. I can't open that up. Um, I can go in here. You know, let's see what happens when we use the level 5 card key. I don't think that this will work. It'll probably say no data on CD. There's Meryl! Okay, she should not... Okay, this is the second disc. She should not exist right there. This should, none of this should exist at all. That shows you how much data is left over from the first disc onto the second one. I am truly amazed right now of, of, of how much data is just left. So they still have all the data where she moves with you. But she has no, but there's no voice tracks. All right, let's see what happens. Let's completely break the game now. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Demo, no data on CD. Okay, now the next should be a fight that shouldn't exist on the second disc, but it does. Okay, this is where I've complete. This is where the game is completely broken. Oh no, nope, maybe not. Okay, now there's no. <laughs> See, I've broken this game out of order. Now, if I were to do this, the kernel comes up. There's no text. There's no dialogue, but the text is all there. I think that's insane. Okay, so... Um, let's do this. Do a couple of these. Alright. Okay. Demo, no data on CD. This is still all programmed on the second disc. This is what's blowing my mind. Uh, and since I'm not switching... I have to feed them. Oh, man. I might, res I might restart. I know you can read my mind. I just can't put it in the second disc right now. I have defeated him before. Oh, I know what I should do. How about that? I use this. your mind. Dude, this is insane. I don't know how to... S I'm not going to be able to switch this. It's... Oh, Jesus. The first time I played this, I thought my game was officially broken, but I've actually broken the game now. useless, I told you. Jesus. Um... I think these fuck them up. Y 
Useless, useless, useless. Ah, uh, crap. But you can hit him. I have done it. Oh, see, there it goes. I just hit him. So you can do this without whatchamacallit, but it stuns them. Oh, that's right. What am I doing? I never have to reload with this stupid thing. Oh, yeah. Alright, the tracers. Now I'll be able to see where I'm going. I can read your mind. But you can kill him. Why? Even though he can read my mind, you can still kill him. I've already damaged him part way. I've done this before, I know it. Damn, man. What the hell? So, they, so it's not impossible, it's just harder as hell when you can't switch to the second port. So you've already def defeated him halfway. Why? Why can't... What the hell? This is where I need to do. Alright, so switch back to that. See, there's supposed to be dialogue here, and there isn't. like silent Metal Gear Solid. I mean, I could reenact all these lines. Uh-oh. I think we've I think I've officially broken it. All right, so this is where the data of that ends. So I have officially locked the game up at this point. Um because we are on the second disc and not the first. So let's reload save state. Because I had to destroy that, because that part really freaking broke the game. Alright, so now I'm aware. So now I know. This is just funny. Um, I don't know. I just really wanted to have fun by breaking this game today. And not do anything crazy. And... Appreciate your prey. Oh, that's oh. Why didn't I think to do that before instead of going back all that way? You can do this. Cardboard box A. 
Then I can go all the way back to there, and then I just gotta switch boxes and go all the way back to the snow field. Is this all there is to load? Is this all there is to load? The heliport, huh? The heliport. The truck has begun to move. Alright, so let's go back to. Oh, that's right. Since I never did the sniper wolf fight, I wonder if I could trigger it. There's a possibility where I can trigger it, even though it's already quote unquote happened because I'm on the second disc. But because I never actually triggered the fight, it might try to load it in. Let's find out. Because it should happen, it should trigger when I come near the door. That's where the game's trigger is at anyways. Alrighty. Um, let's do... Okay. Now, it should trigger the moment I get over here. If it does at all. Okay, so that doesn't happen. So I wonder what happens if I go inside and go out. Because that might trigger it. Which would be hilarious if it did. Because it triggered every other boss fight. <clears throat> Alright, let's find out. Because he should get up. Alright, I should get shot. Nope. Yep, there it is. I did trigger it. See? I didn't trigger it before, but now I triggered it. Okay, there's Otacon. <laughs> oh my goodness. There is no audio for this. Okay, but see, uh, I'll show you another trick. If you ever wanted to just not get shot by her, just do this. Take your Nikita. And this is the easiest way to go about it. You don't get shot, and these Nikita things will just ride up the mountain. Whoops. Maybe not that side. But you see, like, how this hill is here. It'll gracefully lift it up just long enough. I'm gonna. Oh shit, that's right. She can't get me once I'm behind this damn tree. You have to like stand behind the tree and then just do this. But the fact that this is on here, on the. This is the second disc. Now I've completely like broken this game ass backwards. Son of a bitch. I used to be able to do this so much through here. Damn it. Alright. I've successfully gone and broke the game. Son of a bitch! I forgot where I have to stand where she can't shoot me. Maybe it was like right here. Oh, maybe not. I've done this before. It's an easy way to defeat her. There she is. <laughs> then she runs all over the place. Oh. Alright. I'm wondering after I defeat this if the cutscenes will still commence or if it'll break the game like it did the other times. What the? Well, he went right through her. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you don't I'm, don't understand what I'm doing, I've li this is literally I'm already on the second disc. But it proves that when they made this game, they literally just made they just took out the they just took out the audio clips and a lot of the cutscenes from the first disc and just replaced it with the second one, but left everything else intact, like the boss battles and all that stuff in there. But if you try to do it out of order, you totally this game totally fucks up. Oh, damn it. No, that's the reason why I have to run back over here. Oh. Oh, there she is. So I'm actually I'm playing this game kind of ass backwards. Okay. Because then she gets all annoyed. She's like, I can't see you. But uh, actually, what I'm doing right now is actually something I, instead of trying to snipe her out, this is like one of the easiest ways to defeat her is by using this. And I've always had good luck doing it. See? Alright. Now they're supposed to be talking, but there's nothing here for him to talk about. And you're supposed to get that whole sniper... W okay, it's still triggering this, but there's nothing here. Demo. I, oh, damn it, you can't see it because my crap is on there. Let's see if I can... Uh, it literally... I don't know if you can read that. It says, Demo, no data on disk. It's because these... I, I, you're not supposed to be able to access this stuff on the second disk, but it proves that if you were to game shark the game... Okay... This is if you if you were to game shark the game like I did to break this game, it proves this stuff is still on the second is still on the second disc, regardless of it like you being on the second disc. So all the data is still there. It's just all the dialogue and all the cutscenes are cut out, and that truly amazes me. And since now this fight has happened. I want to see something else. I want to see... Okay, we've just done that fight, so we've skipped over the whole Otacon thing. Now, let's see if I can reverse to that and go do the Otacon thing. Because that would be funny to, to really get these out of order. So, let's go experimenting. No, I'm not playing this game for... to take it seriously. This is to have fun to, with the game. This all there is to load? The nuclear warhead storage, huh? Ugh. People are like, ah, oh, I don't want to watch that. The question is, why wouldn't you want to watch this? You're seeing parts of a game that never gets to be seen. Okay, so... We did the marrow thing out of order, and I had to kind of reload it. So, what I'm going to do is let's see if the let's see if Otacon is still there, because if that is, you can definitely prove we have broken this game by basically hacking, by pretty much hacking it. But it's the fact that I'm on the second disc, and that those scenes are still triggering, is what I find most fascinating. Okay, because I've done the Sniper Wolf scene, he's now officially gone. Okay, so I should be able to go here without it triggering any other cutscenes. Because technically that is the last cutscene to be triggered on the first disc. So let's find out if anything else triggers. Now, if it stops me right here, it did. It's still going to trigger the ninja scene. It did. It still triggered it, even though, okay. I'm pretty sure one, you know, this hallway is always left intact, but 
It's going to trigger a scene and say no data on disk. Oh, it didn't. Okay, so this game definitely is getting triggered out of order. Some things are saying that it's triggering, other things aren't. I wonder if it will still trigger the, the fight. No, it's not. Alright, so it did trigger everything forward. All the computer equipment smashed. So it didn't re-trigger the Otacon thing. Oh, there's the PlayStation. Otacon, are you in there? That's what I was wondering. Okay, so if that's the case, then I should not trigger the marrow scenes. Technically, shouldn't. But let's go find out, shall we? Because the last time I did it, it like completely broke the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can trigger the, trigger the marrow scenes out of order. Even though... Now here's the important part that I didn't think about that I should actually save this and see if I can go on with it is you know let's let me do that is because I triggered that I'm already on the second disc while skipping the entire first disc and by doing so you skip the torture scene I wonder if you get down to it if Meryl is uh, is alive or dead because we actually never did the torture scene. It's something that I don't want to explore today. I'll probably explore on a different date, but I totally have it saved where I can see. All right, let's go see what will happen if this scene will trigger. If Meryl is in here, then I've completely fucked this game up. If she's not, okay. So the game already has got it in its mind that I've already triggered past all this stuff. Okay. But I don't have the handkerchief anymore. So that means these wolves are going to be kind of pissed off. Maybe. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Alright, so it doesn't trigger any of these scenes with the dogs or anything. Alright, that's really all I wanted to see, is if it were to trigger that. Now let's just try and navigate. Um, thermal. It's easier to navigate the dark scenes. Ugh. Bad wolves. Bad wolves. I didn't mean to kill Sniper Wolf. There we go. What the hell? Crap, went the wrong way. Wasn't supposed to happen. Well, that's right. I think it's like right here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, there's a wolfie. He's not too happy I'm here. Alright, so let's see if the snipe... I don't think this wolf fight should trigger, because the other ones didn't, and nothing else did. Yep, okay. But, because I didn't trigger... Because I didn't trigger the um, torture chamber, I wonder if it will trigger right here. Okay, so you can see this is where Wolf was, and we supposedly shot her up here, and all this other crap. I'm wondering if it will trigger if I go right here and try to go into this door. Nope. That is amazing. I find this so fascinating right now. Because, I mean, I've essentially have broken the game, you know. Oh, yeah, I'd rather use the elevator. 
I think there's the elevator. I guess I can't use the elevator. I didn't realize there was that many bullets around this area. Holy shit. I never rarely, very rarely explore this game once I get done with like the first part of the disc. But since that didn't happen, I shouldn't get triggered with the... Now, I wonder if this door is still frozen. Or if I have to, like... Because if that's the case, that's going to suck, because I can't repel outside. Oh, boy. Hold on one moment. Oh. Alright, so I skipped all that. So there's a good possibility that I um, will be... Ah, uh, here it is. I wonder, because it said it's, you could probably thaw it out. Okay, so it is still frozen. I think. <laughs> oh. Because the second one has the elevator shaft. Whatever tower. Never got the rope. Now, now, it would be funny as hell if I triggered this fight. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Oh, I did trigger it. I don't think you're supposed to be up here. Okay, I broke the game. <laughs> I'm on the second disc and I broke the game because it's trying to trigger a fight that doesn't exist. It shows that I'm outside. But I can't remember if... But see, I should be inside that building. I should still be able to wander out here. This is incredible.